Hey, so I'm working on this BMW uh, 230i, and I want to show you the difference. And you can um, you can see on this panel how trashed with overspray this trunk lid is. Now, if you'll come over here real quick, you'll see I've already removed it from this section right here. And so the beauty of what I'm doing is, if you look here, I've got forever rinseless in the buck in the bucket okay so if we try to use just traditional lube okay we just try to use traditional lube so now the the panel's been washed already and now I just lubed it up with the forever rinseless great lubrication but the forever rinseless is just lube it is not removing or breaking anything down so I'm going to show you this is my Japanese clay bar this is one that's been used many many times so I want to show you, if you just look in here, it totally removes contamination, but it's very inconsistent and it doesn't remove at all. See, it looks better here. But now let me show you this. You see, show them this section right here. The not so pretty section. And you can see, I just want to look through the... Yeah, you can see all this contamination. All the little blocks. Now, stay right there. All right, we're gonna spray on some uh, infinite purpose cleaner, all right? So, with the IPC and my Japanese clay bar that we have right here, watch this. Watch how much more effective it is at removing literally all the overspray in this section right here. Look, I'll do it again in this section. You see how clean it looks right so here? there versus this. Yeah, but look, check this out. See this? Gone. I'm barely even pushing down. The product literally does all the work. So if you've got overspray or you've got something you need to clean, Infinite Purpose Cleaner all day long. And uh, I'm going to keep rocking and rolling just like this.